Hello class. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening or good night depending on when you are watching me. Yes. Well, these weeks we've been studying the body parts. Yes, the muscles, the bones, the organs and also the five senses. Yes. Okay, so today we want to reflect. We want to think about the people who have who has impairments or some t sometimes we hear the the word disability but it's not so nice is it so some people cannot hear yes cannot see cannot feel cannot speak or cannot move as we do if we are lucky to have all our senses and all of the body parts perfectly well but some people cannot do that okay sometimes because of an accident and some other times people are born yeah they're babies with those impairments yes okay so let's hear some of these impairments a blind a blind person is a person who cannot see yes because their eyes are not working or because the part of the brain re uh, related to the sight the eyes is not working so some people who who are blind can learn to walk around with the help of a cane this is a cane yeah it's a long stick and they have to move it to the sides one side to the other side left to right left to right so they can get around yes avoid the obstacles good blindness that's well see if someone is blind it doesn't mean they cannot do the things that the other people do like the walking along the street with a cane or maybe with the help of a guide dog yes look in this picture you can see people running yes sportsmen and sportswomen can run thanks to these dogs the guide dogs they are very clever intelligent dogs that help the blind people to get along you know in a in the streets in a in a race like in this case good some people cannot hear very well or are or they don't hear at all if they don't hear anything they're deaf yes a deaf person is someone who cannot hear yes to communicate with others the hearing impaired or deaf use the sign language. Okay, so here we have uh, some of the letters that we have in in the alphabet, the finger spelling alphabet, the BSL alphabet, and also in this website, the British Sign Code UK, you can find how to write, how to write, how to use your hand. Sorry, to say words. Yes, like cat with the C, with the A and the T. Yes, it's very interesting. Some of the people, uh, they are not totally deaf. They have some difficulties in one ear or both ears, but they can hear. Yes, with the help of a hearing aid. This, yes, this thing here is a hearing aid. Okay. And these are two very nice videos, good videos, for you to learn some color words in, la in the sign language, in the ASL language. Okay, for example, this girl is doing the word colors using the fingers on the chain, yes, tapping the fingers on the chain. And the two videos are called, one is called Color Song, Learn Your ASL Colors, and the other is Learn Your Colors. American Sign Language okay so take the time because they're very nice and very easy to learn and okay you will learn some other type of English yes with your hands that's excellent okay some people cannot speak yes because maybe they don't have voice or the brain the part of the brain of the speech is not working okay so a person who cannot speak is a mute person speech or a speech impair the speech impair also use the sign language remember as a two, two girls before yes 
to communicate with the others. And a lot of people that they are also deaf are mute. Okay? Okay, and then we have the people who cannot smell. Yes. There, there, there's not so many people, but there are some that they are not, you know, smelling. They cannot smell. Why is that? Well, because of the brain, the part of the brain is not working. Yes. Or maybe they have some problems on the nose. Yes. Or inside the nose. Okay, so an anosmic person is someone who cannot smell, but sometimes some people have specific anosmia. They don't smell some others, okay? Some smells, not all of them, okay? The, the problem is that the anosmic people cannot taste, yeah, cannot taste the same, the, the food, the same way as, you know, as the other people who have the sm the smelling sense because remember the tasting and the smelling are connected yes we when we t we taste the food we taste with the tongue and also with with the smell okay okay so then we have the physical disabilities yes like the limping limping or people who has only one leg or one part of the leg because of an accident or because they were born with uh, you know one l good leg and the other is not working properly okay look at this girl is it has only one leg and the other the other is a, um, a prosthesis yes a help an aid to walk and run and do exercise yes this girl is very famous, is a surfer, and, sh well, she was attacked by a, a shark. Can you see the, mm, yam, the bite of the, of the shark? And the shark took her left arm. L there is no left arm here, yes? She has only one right arm, the right arm. Okay, so, she has only one arm. But, look, she's still surfing. Excellent, yes. Even though you have disabilities, you can do most of sports and activities to have fun look these girls are playing basketball and they are on a wheelchair yes they are on the wheelchairs because they are paraplegic paraplegic they can move the legs but they can move the torso they can move the arms and so they can play basketball with the help of their wheelchair okay excellent Okay, so for people who has only one leg or one arm, for example, scientists and doctors have um, created prosthesis. A prosthesis, like in this case, is an artificial part of the body, in this case a leg, and a, feet, a foot, sorry, made of metal and plastic and other materials connected to the body, so this person, this sportsman, can use these processes to walk and run and do exercise and look at this girl she can play guitar even though she has no arm because she has a prosthesis of the arm and also the hand okay it's made of metal and other plastic materials and is connected to her arm and sh when she thinks to move her arm the prosthesis moves okay that's excellent so that's all for today, class. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.